yeah, I said I wanted to show you an interior. So let's do an interior. I'll just grab, which one do I want to grab? Let's grab the home office. So I'll just drag and drop my home office in here. <laughs> All right, so now that I've got this home office in here, um, then I can uh, zoom out of this one. I've actually already got it kind of set up in a, in a way that works because my camera, keep in mind my camera is over here. This is what my camera is looking at. So it's pretty much already framing things the way that I want them to be framed. So let's say I might want to um, draw a character on here. Now one thing that sometimes happens when you start drawing 2D on top of the 3D stuff um, is that the 2D might not be placed at the right spot. So if I start drawing this guy sitting down here at his uh, desk chair, then I want him to appear like in the right spot forward and backward uh, with, the, with relation to these things. You can get the character layer to be in the right spot with relation to all of your 3D layers as well. So now he's sitting in the chair in the right spot in the home office. And then the cool thing about this is, of course, if you want to do any camera moves or if you want to incorporate together your, um, all of the other Photoshop, or oh, sorry, all of the other storyboard stuff that's cool, like your um, captions and everything like this, then you can use the captions, you can use everything else, and you can still export to your PDF file. But then the other thing that you might want to just adjust, if you're doing something like a, um, like the camera move on the first panel here, if I look at it from my camera view, then I have a couple of different ways that I could frame the shot when I do my export to PDF. So how do I decide how I want to frame this shot? Then I can right click on here and I can add a snapshot. And this snapshot is just basically where the still image is going to be taken for that um, PDF export. So I can even have more than one snapshot. I could have a couple of different ones if I need to describe the movement there. And if I have no snapshot, for example, like on the second one, it's just going to take the first frame as its snapshot. And then if we check out if I do my file export to PDF, then we can see here I've got my three panel vertical. Let's just do that. Overwrite. then we can see how I have the two different snapshots that show the first or the start of that um, storyboard and then the end of the storyboard panel there. And then I've got my snapshot of my second one. So that's what snapshots are for.